What is up guys, Orange Now Winner, and welcome back to another episode on, of course, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. In the last episode, we, uh, we've been through a lot. We went through a desert expedition towards the abandoned temple, got the codes, and of course, we also fought a huge drill... <coughs> oh, sorry. We also fought a huge drill droid with, of course, Marin by our side. And now we know what we need to do next. We now have to find Talonor before Dagon does. And of course, take them down. Time for us to make our move. I'm curious to hear what you make of Dagon Gera's history. Dagon felt like his life's work was being threatened. That obsession led him astray. <laughs> Sounds all too familiar. What do you mean? You may recall that I had a vision foretelling the fall of the Order. The Council. Well, let's just say that my warnings fell on deaf ears. In my arrogance, I felt betrayed. But you were right. That's beside the point. I allowed my wounded pride to cloud my judgment. When the purge began, I was still searching for proof that my vision was true. Instead of being there to support Seer and her Padawan. Cal, be the one time. I remembered a second location you might wish to explore. Another temple? Quite so. This one is in the southern desert, and it is quite magnificent. When I visited, I felt the weight of the past upon me. I am sure you will too. Sounds incredible. I think so. Although it was certainly simpler before the Empire increased its presence here. Another rumor. Explore the ruins in the southern desert. Good luck. I'm Kobo, my friend. You're upset about our bias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first light lost in our struggle. And it will not be the last. I know, but we were so close here. Brother Armaius served the cause faithfully. And that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. Cal, find Hanalor. Imagine how many lives we could save. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. And this joy too. The longer we wait, the bolder these raiders grow. First, let's take a look at the shop. Treasure for wisdom, young sage. Yes, that suits you, noble one. Can't go wrong with this. Thank you. The knowledge you've saved is invaluable. Good to use this. The wisdom you've recovered is a boon to us all. This one. That was fated for you. Return any time, young sage. Wait, there's a room I think we missed in there. <coughs> Oof, sorry about that, guys. I 
I suppose you have both studied Oysen's lemma? Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oysen explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as self-liberty, but per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we die. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. I think Sister Task will want to take a look at this. Huh. This terminal will have to wait. That's what I'm confused about these things. How can we open these things? Mm. All set, BD? Turns out we need a special compass to navigate the abyss. A compass? Okay, sure, sure. Whatever you say, kid. Oh, and Marin's coming along. Wait, what? Mar Marin's joining us? Why didn't you tell me? I could have cleaned up the place. Oh, this is just perfect. <laughs> this shield bird's feather is supposed to bring good luck. Coruscant? I guess uh, going back to Coruscant would hurt. Coruscant? You sure about this? The capital of the Empire. I have never been there. Coruscant's not so bad. When you're not being shot at. Yeah. Personally, I think I uh, like stirring up trouble. I don't. Just want to check out a few things, Grease. Great, have a blast. I'm staying on the mans. I will mask our approach.
over here, kid. We're about to land. Coming. Coruscant. The thriving home of the Black Republic. Or as it was. It was, of course. You glad to be back? Yes. It is nice to be traveling again. Grease is a little shaky in the cockpit. You'll get the hang of it. Been a while. I hope so. I do not fear death, but I would prefer not to die on the Mantis. It's nothing personal. Marin's wasted no time in getting comfy on the Mantis. Oh uh, yeah? What does she do? Well, for one, she conveniently seems to forget to clean her own dirty dishes. They just sit right there, right on the table, as if to say, here, Grace, you clean me. <laughs> Maybe she hexed them. What? She can do that? <laughs> Maybe you should pitch in and do some chores, BD. And beeping ain't chores. <laughs> All these people, oblivious to the war we're fighting. Maybe that's a good thing. For now, perhaps. But what this galaxy needs is a true revolution. You gonna lead it? Wasn't you like that? Just so you know, I never stopped fighting the Empire. It was one of my travel hobbies. Ah, of course not. <laughs> if I set up my cantina here, then I'd really be making some credits. And do you think the Bedlam Raiders are bad? Here you'd have to pay protection to crime lords, bribe CSF officers, you name it. But I'd have a neon sign with my name on it. And that would make Great Grandma Pyloon mighty proud. I'm sure she'd already be very proud of you, Grease. Well, you think? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, get out of here and do what you gotta do before the Inquisitorius find us again. I wonder where a uh, boat is. Oh, there he is. Right this behind. is where you held up an Imperial Senator. Yeah. I hope that intel we got off the senator gets put to good use. Coruscant's fun, but it has a way of making you feel insignificant. Yeah, no kidding. It's the wealth. The sheer amount of credits flowing in and out of these streets, and right into the pockets of the politicians at the top. Most people are on the outside, even if they don't know it. Maybe someday we can change that. You ever wonder what your life might have been like if you weren't a Jedi? It's so hard to imagine. I think about how I got here. Would I want to try again? A life away from fighting. Um, uh, farmer. That could be nice. Also hard to imagine you as a farmer. Why? It's a peaceful life. Plenty of space for Kata to play. When we get to Tantalor, you can farm all you want. Can't wait. Let's take a look around. There's a whole bunch of other kinds of stuff that we haven't missed. That we've kind of missed. We can now pass through the barriers now. Fuck! 
for me. Oh, okay. It's not fine for me. something we can't access. Not much we can do here, so let's go back when we when we got the time. skin.
Jello, let's go. Doesn't feel right being here. We are safe. I kept us hidden on approach. I know, I know. But let's still, this is there. the capital of the Empire. It's no place for outlaws like us. Use up, Grease. They haven't got us yet. Just tell me when we can leave. Ah, we are about to leave. The Mantis has changed. Oh, yeah. Cal and Bo, they ain't exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some SCA steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Seer and I believe Tanelor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Gonna get crowded. Change of day. Nighttime. Let's go. Rescue Z from the Lukovich. I mean, the Lukovic. All we wanted all the way over there. And where are we? All the way over there. Bro. That is. That's all the way back over there. Hmm. I think new characters and conversations are available in the balloon. I think we might be able to fast travel our way through there. Do you know about the Bile Mall lurking in the mountain? I can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. Another woman. Defeat the vile bomb me. Hey, Jack. Grace, you, see? you should know. When my old crew worked for the Mantis, we made a few changes. Oh, you mean how the left side of the cabin couch completely has lost its bounce? Yeah, I know. Come on, the seat's got no give. Cushion just limps there, like a dead Neto. That's from Liz. To psych herself up for a mission. 
She'd bounce on the couch as hard as she could. Now every time I sit on that broken cushion, it feels like Liz is still there. Well, I was planning to replace those cushions, but maybe that can wait. I wonder if the, I think the art that's right there is basically concept art for things. Alright, let me see if I can find a meditation spot we can fast travel there. Cause I am not wanting to like, to like walk all the way over there. see here. This is where we need to go. We're here. Where do we need to be? Over in this area. check something. If that guy with the lightsaber was up there, that'd be a pretty cool fight. In the night, of course. to die. I wanted to fly. We wasted so much of our time on that for nothing. Let's go. Okay, 
Yeah. yeah. The Lucha Fish ship from the Clone Wars. I would always call that a Trade Federation, one of the Trade Federation ships. But I guess it's really not a good name, is it? Here. You can ask you the same questions, eh? I came out here to look for Z. 
You do have to go into that cave. Come on, 
something to help me. New shark guy. Sweet. Loading gantry. It was only the force. I'm with the force and the force. Oh. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. You? Yeah. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Didn't expect you to come into uh, a happy landing. Just need to upgrade myself before we go in. Yeah? Any tips? No. 
It was nothing like a Luger Hulk. Not sure why I even mentioned it. Could you clear this up? Yeah. Absolutely. Whoa. Thanks. Oh, shit, I'm about to fall. Let's go. Closing in on them. I know. Hold it for me, Leon. down there yeah I wanted to save up just look at this place all right let's move copy that yep this is exactly like episode one huh ah a crafting table don't mind if I do down here we went through the wrong way sorry about that Okay. 
should be getting deeper. Scaling a beaten up warship, just like the old days. Who knows? Another Magna Guard. Oh, I'm going crazy. Where do we go? Over there, huh? Sir.
stop here guys thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it in the next episode we are going to continue to do the look of do the um the look of hulk core i'll see you guys next time bye bye
Ah, that happened. 